Hey guys, I just chatted with my dad. I'm always on the hashtag YouTube grind and it's just because I love work and consistency. And I'm like, why do I want it? Just because it's gonna make me money? Do I want it because the process of it is just something I'm obsessed with? Or is it because I'm obsessed with the validation of you guys? So I'm literally mind blown. And it's like not a bad thing. It's more of like a reevaluation. And it's not like I'm not gonna do daily videos, but I want to strip apart the whole aspect of my YouTube business and really peel away what I actually like about YouTube. Right now, it's a little confusing, but it's all about what makes me happy. And I'm just trying to peel, if this makes sense, I'm just telling you, why are you doing what you're doing? Do you want to do YouTube and Instagram because it's going to pay the bills? Or do you actually want to do it because you don't like listening to people? Or maybe you want to be in control. If you want to be in control, why are you doing social media? Because technically the market has control over you, which can get really dangerous. Because you don't want to be really old, lying on your deathbed and regretting everything in life. I know I'm getting really deep, but I thought I'd just document this part because I'm just- I don't know, I don't know what to say. My dad's literally a psychologist. I don't know. It kind of fucks with your brain. <laughs> So we're in the car. I'm actually on the way to the gym. So I was like, this thing really f with my head. I think this really ties in to life. I've never gotten deep with you guys. I think it's because in my head, I'm thinking, wow, the only thing that gets views is Instagram tutorials and stuff like that. But I'm just like, do I really like Instagram tutorials? Like, what do you actually want to do? And this applies to YouTube and you guys. Like, a lot of you guys, especially when you're younger, I don't think you realize you don't need that much money. People are talking about making a million dollars a year. But I'm just like, what about 70,000? Like, what about 50 grand? Like, you don't need that much money to live your life. So I just like, don't even know. I'm trying to like, compute what this means. We talk about what we don't have more than what we actually have. And the moment we talk about what we have, it's like never enough or we don't know why we're doing it. Like honestly, why are you guys doing social media? It's a shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. But for real, why are you doing social media? Is it because it's paying your bills well? Is it because you always wanted to be famous when you're younger and now that the internet's a thing, like you can now be a superstar? Like do you like the validation of other people? I don't know why you're doing it and I want to know because for me, I know for a fact that I was kind of in the space of creating ever since I was born. You know, now that I think about it, I'm like, hmm, why? Why was that? Why was I in love with music when I was like nine years old? Like, why? 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 What is life? Like, literally ask why to everything you're doing and then you're gonna be like, shh. You're gonna be like, why am I awake? And this might get you guys in a dark place, but I'm telling you, it comes from the best part of yourself when you're real with yourself and self-aware. Why? For me, I'm screwed up now because I'm like, wait, why am I doing daily YouTube videos? Is it because I love the process and like, the diligence of like daily uploads but for real like why and I am getting really in a place where I want to put out the best content and I'm forcing myself to squeeze everything out but I'm just like there's no one really in charge of me like I am in control so many of you guys are not in control of your lives like literally even if you're not even employed you're not in control it's either your boss is telling you what you need to do the validation of your parents are telling you what to do just your entire audience on YouTube is telling you what to do so what do you want to do all right I'm gonna go to the gym it's so yeah <laughs> It's currently 12 p.m. So a lot later. <laughs> it's always later in the day. I hit a car. Calm down, guys. I know I'm kind of new to this whole driving thing it's like in my fields today. So I accidentally hit a car that was a parked car. Those are the worst, right? So I hit a car that was parked. I don't know what to do. It wasn't that bad, but I knew in my heart. I was like, man, like if I was the owner, I would just want someone to at least stay. Because it wasn't like I hit the car. It's like I skid by it, okay? My life is dramatic. Anyways, called my mom. My dad was in a meeting. So I was like, mom, what do I do? And my mother, she's an angel. But she's like, it's fine. You can leave. I'm like, no. So I went to the gym trying to look for him. Low key, just try to go on the treadmill to like see what's happening because I stood there for like a good ten minutes and I knew there was security cameras. So it wasn't like I was gonna move my car. Like I was running and this man is like walking towards the exit, right? He's where I'm at the gym in the parking lot and then he walks towards the doors and I'm like, hmm, it would be crazy if he was the owner of the car I hit. So I look through the window and he's like walking out in the parking lot, walking really close to my car. I was like. He opens the trunk to his car, which is the, the one I hit, and I, I heard it sounded beating, so I ran in the parking lot, and keep in mind, it's like rainy it's Portland, and I was like, he's literally about to drive away. And I was like, knock, 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 like, open the freaking window. I hit your car. And he's like, oh, I did not notice. And I was like, I hit your car. He's like, can we check it out? So I showed him the spot. He's like, he literally took his finger. He wiped the car like that. He's like, oh, it's fine. It's just like dust. And I'm pretty sure I hit it. He was so nice. So he literally took his finger, like touched the mark, and it like went away when it really didn't. My car is a little bit like damaged. Sorry, dad. It wasn't that bad, but man, that guy could have totally like reported me. I don't even know. I'm not, I don't know how to do car accidents. 
But like, thank you, dude. Thank you so much, dude. I don't know his name. I never got it because I never got in trouble. So I'm gonna be so much more cautious. Next time I drive, I won't be emotional. Don't be emotional and drive. Okay, story time over. It's been a dramatic vlog. All right, guys, it's a little bit later. I got some Starbucks and look, it's like, can you see that? $2, do you see it? $2, yo. I found this like hack to make Starbucks cheap because coffee's expensive and so I'm gonna pick my Starbucks order right now. Here it goes. So I literally brought my nut pod from home. You guys know I'm obsessed with this creamer. It's dairy free. So we're gonna add it into the coffee. I didn't get iced coffee. I got two shots of espresso with ice. And then I just kind of hacked my system and got a really cheap drink. Woo! So I just wanted to like really quickly rant. I have energy now. <laughs> so I was getting coffee. I was still blown away from the question why. I was like, why are you depending on coffee for energy? Like you are in control. I feel like I don't, I can't tell if I'm hungry. Like when you think about it, coffee is kind of like the energetic drink. Like anyone who drinks coffee gets energy. But what if that's just a perception? What if this whole world is not real? Just kidding. I was like, what if I got decaf and made myself think that it was gonna give me like caffeinated energy? So that really got me thinking. <laughs> My mind is blown. So I was thinking like we give so much control in our lives to win a like for example, you have to have a really nice camera to do YouTube. Well, that's just a perception. Like some people think I'm using something expensive when this is just my like smaller vlogging camera. This is all psychology. What I'm trying to say is the perception is crazy. And I feel like we always complain about what we don't have. So the time we always depend on coffee or we depend on things. Uh, maybe I should just stop drinking coffee. No, I'm gonna keep drinking coffee. I don't know, coffee got me going. I'm really pumped up now, but I can't tell if it's the coffee or the thought of getting coffee. This is getting rough. Also, as I'm driving home, I have this really weird anxiety when I see people from school or when I drive past by school. So I'm like not in school and I work from home. I get like really bad anxiety sometimes. I'm just like, why? Back to the topic of people like controlling us, like other, even inanimate objects controlling us. Like coffee, I swear it's gonna take over the world. Anyways, wh why? I'm like literally, I drive past by school and my heart like starts beating really fast and I'm like sweating. I'm, like, what the f so the way I think I'm gonna like control of my anxiety and just whatever I'm feeling is just like why like why are you letting them do this and when you ask yourself why you just become really self-aware like literally nobody can stop you it's like usually yourself last year I was probably not in a good place like I thought I was really fat and I couldn't do anything so now that just went away just because I stopped hanging out with people that you know aren't you know lit but the domination I know it's super lonely sometimes no one literally can tell you anything even your parents you know what I'm saying but we're human I like this deep stuff too just because I I can honestly keep talking about Instagram forever and ever because I believe that Instagram is a huge major life-changing platform What's even better than Instagram is the mindset of how to use it How do you really be successful in a business or brand which is all about the, it's all about the mindset and I don't like being fluffy But then I realized your worst enemy is yourself, so we gotta fix yourself first. Why am I suddenly becoming like a 60 year old life coach? I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna close today's video. I don't know. I feel like all today I was really working hard on thinking, you know, thinking. Sometimes all I do is do, 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 and work because that's what we're told because like hard work is hashtag what I believe in. So this is what I was thinking. So you know the app store has like the news, news page? I don't, do you guys use it? I don't know. It looks like this, right? And it, the layout was really inspiring. So I'm gonna really just use this for my app, not like steal the concept, but I like how it's like Instagram where you just swipe up for the feed, but it has all the information you need on current life and updates. So for my application, which is all about personal branding and growing on social media, why not kind of use the, the feed, like the swipe up feed feel on my app? Because it, it works. I was kind of just researching on what app do well on user interface and Apple's killing it. So I'm gonna go inside, coffee's bomb. I'm really pumped up! Catch you guys in the next one. I'm recording all day, by the way, for the application. Today, I was thinking, planning, executing. This was too deep. Just let me know. Comment below what you want to see next. If you don't like this, sorry. Bye!